you dumbass of the day. Wah, 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 wah. You know there's a website you can go to that tells you where all the serious sex offenders live? So I go, I check out my new neighborhood. Turns out it's crawling with sickos. Crawling might be a bit of an exaggeration. There's two. <laughs> Me and this other guy. <laughs> But he's crazy. I mean, he's such a weirdo. Like, I'm peeking through his window. <laughs> he's eating cotton candy. Cotton candy. That is not an at-home food. Weirdo. Dumbass <laughs> of the day. 93.3 KZOC. A couple from Indiana went to take a vacation in the Keys. They went to Longboat Key in Florida. And they noticed something weird at the Airbnb that they were renting on the smoke detector in the master bedroom. They realized the smoke detector was not a smoke detector at all. And it was a camera pointing right at their bed. I think about this all the time when I stay in places. And you look up that little blinking light and you're like, yeah. Is that a camera? Well, if it is, here I am. Take a look. Uh, Derek Starnes um, was there with his wife vacationing. Now, he works in the tech world, and he noticed a black hole on the side of the smoke detector. So he looked up there, and he took it down and realized that the black hole was a camera recording onto an SD card. He immediately called the police and said, Hey, this sicko that I'm running this Airbnb from has a hidden camera. See, I and think then, I just cut the cord, rip the camera down, and stay, because now where are you going to get a place to stay? <laughs> you got this great AB, Airbnb. It's like, where are you going to go last minute? You got to go check into uh, the Motel 6? The um, lieutenant down there, Bob Bork, said that they seized a lot of computer storage data devices from the home. Hard drives, computers, laptops, SD cards, anything that would store data. Um, he says that they don't know if there's any local victims... Or someone who may have been dating him or a companion that don't, doesn't realize that they've been videotaped. Um, Wayne Nat, he's the uh, guy that owns the place. He's yeah, what's he say? He's arrested and charged with one count of video voyeur, voyeurism. Were they just, just security cameras? Just one count right now. Um, his account uh, at Airbnb and this house has been on the market for two years. I mean, it's, a lot of people have probably stayed there. Um, he's gotten more than 40 reviews on Airbnb. I don't know about you. I don't always leave a review wherever I stay. No, I don't usually. So that's probably, I never do. I, w- I would say about, what, maybe 20% of people leave reviews. So, you know, times that times five. And that's what number of people have been staying there. Um, the wife and the husband that stay there are, di- are distressed by the situation. But they're happy that they... They found it. They're, they're hoping that more victims will come forward. Um, See, I would have stayed there all week. And then I would have found it. And then I would have called the cops. And then I would have demanded my money back so I had a free place to stay while I was on vacation. After uh, Nat was arrested by police, he, yeah, gave, him a, he gave him a statement uh, with his lawyer present saying that um, everyone at the home gave him consent to be filmed and that he admitted that there were dozens of videos of people engaged in sex parties that he actually hosted at his house. So that's why the cameras were there and everybody at the sex parties knew that they were being videotaped. Um, And it was part of the deal for going to the sex party that they were notified prior to it. But this wasn't a sex party. This was just some couple renting his home. Yeah, and they were running video footage. He was running the video footage. While the couple was there? While the couple was there. Yeah, so then that that argument doesn't work, buddy. Sorry. If they didn't have any video footage of the couple, say, oh, yeah, this is here for other uh, parties that I do. They asked him uh, why he hid it in the ceiling. He said it gave him a better angle of the bed for the production of the video that he was taking. Yeah, he's a sicko. (laughs) He's a Weinstein. Why is it Weinstein or Weinstein? Weinstein? Weinstein. I, just, I think it's Stein. Okay. I think it's Stein. Yeah, this guy's this guy's a pervert. And does he is he married? No. Does it say? No, this guy's not. He's the old sex parties, of course he's not. Yeah, so he goes But at what point? Okay. And I'm just playing devil's advocate here because this guy is a sicko. He's gonna be the dumbass of the day. No you know, no no qualms about it. But at what point? I mean, I'm surprised he went with that as his defense because my defense 
would have been, yeah, I run tape uh, for everybody that stays there because I want to make sure nothing gets stolen. That would have been a good defense. Yes. But they would have, he probably thought, well, they'll do a little investigating, find out I'm some sort of pervert, and <laughs> yes. I like to have parties. I have, I have hours of sex parties on my hard drives that they've, that they've sequestered. A couple years ago, my wife and I were flying out of uh, LAX, and we stayed at a Marriott, and I told you there was a hole in the, in the shower. Yeah. That was not, shouldn't have been there. There was no reason for this hole to be there. And I shoved toilet paper in it. And you called me like, you were, you were riding well, nobody me. Wants you were to like, see oh, come on. Nobody wants to see well, Nobody knows that I'm they're, staying if there. If they're recording it, if they're recording it, they're moving past that video. <laughs> nobody knows I'm staying there. I don't want them to see me or my wife. So I stuck the toilet paper in there. And you're like, oh, come on. That's ridiculous. This is why. We got a guy there. that wanted to share a story that something happened here. Go ahead, man. There's a hotel here locally. I'm not going to name it. You know, obviously that would, you know, it was some place I worked at. But there was a, uh, there was a guy who would request the same room every time, every time he came and stayed there. And they thought it was weird, but they didn't, you know, think anything of it until somebody came in and tried to plug something into an electrical outlet and it didn't work. So maintenance came up, took the plug cover off, and there was a camera recording behind it, and they ended up finding the guy who requested that room every time and they prosecuted him and and uh it was a big thing did you wow. ever hear what was on the camera oh yeah they he had a he got a bunch of stuff and he was uh putting it online so he was just recording people that would rent the room when he wasn't there looking for people in i don't know whatever compromising positions putting it online and he would always ask for that room so he could go back and upload the video footage exactly yeah wow Ho, ho, ho. That's a dateline so right that's there. A, that's a big red flag for anybody who works in the hotel Perverts. industry. If you have somebody that's always requesting your y- y- a specific room. Right. Um, well, I, I, it, you know, it's a hotel down by the beach, and sometimes people like the view, you know, that they get right, at no, certain gotcha. rooms and things like that. So no, my, my folks do this every time they go to Hawaii. They ask, they're in a timeshare situation, but they go, they're like a year ahead of time, they have this one condo that they like the best. So this yeah. a year ahead of time, they're like, hey, as soon as they possibly could put their request in, they're like, we want that room. Perverts. And, and they get that room. Because maybe they, they like the maybe view. they've hidden devices. They in there. like that view. Well, or, then maybe that's just their cover. Or, they're, or they're hiding maybe they're, devices. Maybe they're yeah. perverts. We gotta get that room. <laughs> we gotta get that room. We gotta get that room. Gosh. Okay. So it doesn't have to be an Airbnb. No. Oh, gross. Yeah. Definitely. No, I mean, yeah, it was hidden behind an electrical outlet that he had just he gutted it and put in his device, and that was it. Yes. Thanks for the call. That's. Disturbing. Uh, I guess I got it. Now I got to start plugging stuff into outlets to make sure they work and uh, start looking around. And uh, what the hell? Which are you? Which are you least likely to trust? The hotel room or the Airbnb? Uh, probably the Airbnb because yeah. it's somebody's house and you know hotel they can, rooms. They can they can set it up however they want. Hotel rooms. You're thinking, okay, most people that stay here, even though it's the volume. You, you, the volume far outweighs that of an Airbnb in a hotel room that there are enough people that stay there where it's just their, you know, their business trips, vacations, whatever. Um, you don't have to worry about a particular guy coming in and saying, yeah, can I have room to... <laughs> Two sixty nine. Can you imagine if you're on, you know, the online and somebody or somebody sends you a link like, "Hey, look what I found," and it's a video of you, you? walking around or your, your room naked, members? or your yeah, you've got. Oh my god! Gosh, you. I've never been videotaped without you know knowing. A lot of perverts in here. Yeah, I just <laughs> can't imagine what that's like to see yourself, especially if you're like naked or doing the sexy thing. And uh. coming up next, it looks like a potential predator party. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.